What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we spent a good majority of our time running frantically throughout Sector B looking for some type of a beacon per the psychedelic dude, bro, bras. Now, we weren't able to find anything, obviously, but since then, a lot of you did let me know that we're actually looking for a lit candle over there. So, now that we know that, maybe it'll be a little bit easier for us to spot. But, what I really want to focus on today is our little grow-op area that we have. You can see our ghetto kush plant is now 100% grown, so we're going to go ahead and harvest that. The plant does stay. We can obviously remove it if we want to, but... I'm not 100% sure if the buds grow back or not, so I'm going to leave it for a minute. I doubt they do, but I, I don't know how those plants work. So we're going to bring what we got from that plant back up to our apartment because we've got to get this stuff dried out now. That's just sort of how this stuff works. So we're sitting with, I think it's 100 and, 172 Gs. That's going to get dried out to about 61 Gs, which ain't much, but you know what? It's honest work, right? So we're going to add 172 to that, start the drying process. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we've got some time to kill, so no worries. Now, as far as our tasks go, we again have to deliver 400 Gs of a white powdery substance to La Ballena. So we're going to make a new order with Eggward here for the cocaina and 400 Gs of that. Again, 10,000 buckaroonies. Thankfully, though, our limit has increased to about almost 15,000. So let's go ahead and place that. Good deal, good deal. And then now in our cupboard, where do you have five Gs on us? Let's add another five. That's going to be 10 in total. And then we've got 1,700 left over. I really want to try to unlock the money laundering location. And I guess we just need a little bit more money in our bank account. Let's see. Yeah, we're sitting at almost $400. So not doing the greatest right now, but that's okay. We're going to fix that here in due time. Let's first deliver the cash to Eddie. He is going to be ready for us. Perfect. So there aren't any ATMs over by Eddie. We're going to have to head over to like the furniture shop, but I also want to stop in there. Cops again, dude, I know that they know every single time I try to deliver cash to Eddie. It seems we always have cops that are patrolling this area. Oh, and now it's going to be police hours. Come on, dude. Wait, I don't have anything illegal on me. So if, if the cops want to search me, go for it. Go, go for it. I just have an odd amount of cash on me. It's a little strange. I know. I just don't. I, maybe I don't believe in banks. Yeah, you ever thought about that? Probably not. All right, Eddie. Uh, this is super sketch right now, my guy, but there's 10 Gs for you. All right, let's run past these cops. You can see our dryer is still drying. We're going to head over to that furniture shop next. All right, it is now officially police hours, and I've gone ahead and deposited a little bit more money into our account. I was told that we had to have our balance be above 1500 bucks, And then all of a sudden, we would just sort of unlock the ability to launder our money. But nothing has happened yet, so I'm going to try to take some money out, put some money back in a few times, and we'll see if that changes things. So we'll take out 500 bucks, and immediately after, we're just going to redeposit that $500. There it is! Too much illegal bank cash flow. This affects your risk and exposure. So we should be getting a phone call now. There it is. Okay. Dude, we should have unlocked this a long time ago. A really Yo, long time ago. I know. Dang, you ain't gotta call her that. Over and out. Hey, 10-4. Good buddy. Now, with that out of the way, I know we also have a new substance available. Wait, not for... What do you mean, not for sale? Why would we unlock it then? That doesn't make any sense. And then we also have camp number 174 available to unlock as well. There we go. We, we should probably just do that, right? We've got one of our dealers in the stank that has some Skrilla for us. And then this person would like uh, 48 Gs of fat. So we'll go ahead and confirm that also. I'm not going to like 
Oh, level 29. Sick. I'm not going to like worry about our clients as much today. If we really, really need to, we will. But for the most part, I want to focus on our little grow up. So I'm just quickly going to package up that 48G order. We'll go collect some cash, deliver this. And then I want to make our way into the sewer because it's police hours. So that way we can go back into sector B and look everywhere, high and low, for some lit candles. It shouldn't be this difficult. It really shouldn't. What's going on, my dude? How you doing? I need that cash. 460 bucks. Ain't bad. Ain't bad. And then where is our other dealer at? Zumo, right. Uh, Zumo, we got some cops, like, real, real close. I can hear their radios off in the distance. But I'm just gonna make that quick, give you what you need, and then be right on out of here. So, let's head into the sewer next. We'll make our way very secretively over into Sector B. You guys have seen us do this enough now that I, I don't feel like I need to include it. Wait, where's the... I'm on the wrong street. Oh, that's embarrassing. Apparently, apparently I haven't done this enough. Otherwise, I would probably remember where the sewer entrance is, right? Okay, we have made it to the other side. We're just going to do a quick 360 scan. Seems safe-ish for right now anyways. All righty. So, we need to start over in this area. You guys informed me that it's it's mainly like around mid-dead town over here that we need to be looking. So, we just need to be on the lookout for some sort of lit candle. Is... That's a street light. That is a street light. Doesn't count. A few moments later. I haven't been able to find a single candle, dude. This entire time. I'm just looking for any... Oh, there's cops, there's cops, there's cops. I'm just looking for any sort of ambient light that is not a street light. That's gotta be a candle. That's gotta be a candle, you guys. Let's go around this way. Just so those cops don't see us. Come on. There it is. Yep. Okay. Totally. Totally, totally. But we have some cops turning around. Yes. Now they're going to start walking this way. Isn't that convenient? Well, I'm going to get up on this little hill and we'll wait for them to pass. There they go. Walking past. We've just got to wait a little while to make sure that they don't turn back around again. Okay. I think we're, I think we're clear. Let's go right underneath this candle. Can't do anything with the trash can. I'm just assuming that it's going to be like sort of how our dead drops work. I'm not going to sift through this entire dumpster, dude. Are you kidding me? No. I don't even know what I'm looking for. You guys haven't the slightest clue. How close is it going to be to like... Oh, we've got a shoebox. We've got a shoebox with an envelope in it. There it is. Contains written correspondence. All right. Now that we've got that, we've got to jump back in the sewer... Head all the way back over to our apartment, and then we could probably deliver this in the morning. Oh, sweet. Perfect timing. As soon as we got back to our apartment, the dead drop is now ready from the downtown vent shaft. Oh, man. That's over in Sector B, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Dang it. That's okay. Wait. Okay, they're right there. I was like, I hear radios. Back in the sewer we go. This area over here is a little sketch most of the time because we have a police point like right there. So let's see what we're looking for. Didn't it say vent shaft or something? Oh, this guy right here. Perfect. So we've got a honey. Oh, sorry. 200 and 200 for four honey in total. Back into the sewer once again. And then we'll uh, go ahead and make this delivery. To be honest, I kind of forgot about all the uh, kush that we have in our dryer. So let's go ahead and package that product. Oh, that's kind of a weird way to go about it. Hang on. Maybe let's not do that. Do we have an empty jar? Okay. Add substance. There we go. Now we can actually get it all put into one jar. So to my surprise, the ghetto kush can't just be added straight in with the Mary Hauna. For whatever reason, it just doesn't work that way. So, like, each strain has to be kept separate from the others, if that makes any sense. But let's get this cocaina placed down so that we can get it broken up into its uh, proper amounts. Oh, we already had 100. It's fine. A little extra never hurt anyone. Well, it, it could have. 
I can't say that for, for certain, I guess. And I'm not going to make the same mistake that I made last time where I told basically told them that I, I made the delivery when I, in fact, hadn't. And they were very, very upset with us. So this time, I'm going to do it the proper way. Get it all drug into there. We'll go back to our little computer, tell them, hey, we're good to go. And then we can go collect our Skrilla, dude. The money, the money we're going to get from this should hopefully help us with, you know, making a better grow op in that other hideout. I'm excited. There would be cops. There would be cops right in front of the sewer hatch, dude. Just my, and they're not even moving anywhere. They're just standing right there. Okay. Not that big of a deal, I guess. Since it's police hours, obviously I can't go through the police checkpoint because they don't really like that. They don't like anyone to be out during police hours, so... Just gotta wait until these dudes stop pacing. Oh my god, they're not going to. They're actually not going to. They really made me wait for it. They really made me wait for it. Hopefully we're far enough away from them to where they're not gonna, you know, notice us whatsoever. And we've gotta get our cash. Oh my dude, look at this. Payday, baby. Love that. All right, back in the sewers we go. This is gonna put us up to... $25,000 in our little storage cupboard here. So we better, at some point, get linked up with whoever Eddie knows to do the money laundering because right now we don't have a ton of money in our bank account. And I'm really trying to go over to Donald's furniture shop so I can get some more pots so we can grow some more pots. You know what I'm saying? All right, Ronald McDonald or whatever your last name is. I think it's McKenzie actually but we have one uv lamp we have one air filter we have one flower pot right now i think one uv lamp should cover eight to nine plants if i remember right and then one air filter should be like three to four plants so let's get one more air filter we don't have a ton of money so we really do have to be careful about this and then let's get probably seven more flower pots right that's only 580 bucks seems pretty all right to me Payment successful, good deal. Now we're gonna deliver this to the proper spot. Gonna be our little hideout over there in the garage area. It is McKenzie. All right, thanks, uh, Ronald McDonald. All right, hold space for furniture mode. So we have another air filter. I'm just gonna put that over on this wall. I don't think it really matters where you place these down at. And then we just need to figure out where we can actually place seven of these, like back to back to back. I guess we don't have to place them like that. Let's just drop one right here. We'll do another one right here. Can't do one there. We gotta leave enough room for the sink to be accessible still. And then don't wanna get in front of the light switch. Oh God, we've got, we've got two more. We're not gonna have enough space for this. Okay, one more. Um, right in the middle, just right in the middle of everything. Sure, seems like a good spot. So I still don't know if the plants will reproduce their buds again. So I'm just going to leave this one for right now. It's not even the strain that I'm going to purchase next, which actually reminds me, we should probably go buy some more uh, seeds from whatever that guy's name was. Barney Roman, of course. How could I forget? Hopefully he's down to meat, maybe? I know he only meets during the daytime for whatever reason, on my way, perfect. You guys, I completely forgot about the envelope that we spent so long searching for. So let's try to bring that to these dudes back in here. I think we need to talk to you, Walther. What's going on? Any luck, here's one. Good job, let me take a look. What does it say? Uh-huh. Uh, location for our, lo looking for our location. Okay, intercept next drop and bring it to me, will do. Thanks, brethren. Our clients have to be just super upset with us today. I haven't made a single delivery other than to our two dealers, uh, or two of our dealers, I should say. So, my man, we need from you, let's see, we did Ghetto Kush last time. I think we wanna do Bong Breaker. That seems like it's gonna be the fastest growing, like best bang for your buck indoor strain. So let's do... How many, how many things do we have? Oh, we have seven more because we have the one plant still. So let's just grab seven of them. There we go, $280, accept that. And this takes our cash, not our bank account money, thankfully. Appreciate it, brother. Have a fantastic day. All right, let's get these things planted. A Sapalapagus. Gotta make sure we close that garage door. We'll do one here. I always forget you have to hold it. 
Uh, you need air filters. Okay, so installed air filters, two. Current minimum air filters, just one. So I think we're actually okay. This Dude, this plant in the middle is going to be a problem. I can already tell. Whoops. Didn't quite get that one. There we go. Two more. And we're going to have to make sure our water bottle is full up. It is, so we can actually water these things. Oh, they start out with a little bit of hydration. Okay. Well, these over here don't seem to have much light, so let's actually head back to Ronald McDonald's. We'll grab one more light, or I guess we could we could probably move that, couldn't we? Furniture mode. Store. There we go. Now, if we just put this in the middle of the room, say here, that should do good things, right? Check light levels on all of these now. It's better. It is considerably better. I'm okay with this. So at this point now, all we have to do is just wait for our crops to grow. Do I dare see how many orders we have? It's gonna be bad. It's, oh, it's bad. It's, they're just piling up. They really are just piling up. It seems like we're still doing pretty good as far as our like reputation goes in all of our main areas. So that's nice. Zumo, you have some cash. Thank you, we will meet. You need some candy. I think we can do that. You need some amp. And then Anna, or is it Anna? You need China White. Is that the white powdery substance? Wow, it is really raining today. Good Lord. So it turns out China White, uh, yeah, that that's heroin, which we do have, thankfully. I made sure, I think I did that off camera, actually. We have little orange jar back at our house, back at our apartment. That is our heroin. So yeah, we got that on deck now, which is good, I suppose. Oh, incoming call. All right, What's going on? Please. Yes. Okay. Later, skater. All right, sweet. Laundering cash gives you legal bank income. This allows you to make uh, more hideout and equipment purchases and stay with a low profile. Good. Good, good, good. We've got Dubro over there. We've got Dubro back here. I really wish that that guy around the corner over there would just disappear for forever. But I think he's going to be here indefinitely. Um, cops, 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 cops. At some point, we may be able to get a weapon which we might have to use on that guy just to get him to disappear, which is sad, I know. But it might be the only way that we can actually get this done. Johnny, we've got to make this quick because there are cops right next to us, quite literally walking this way. Okay, see ya. Enjoy that. Hopefully you don't get caught by the cops. We've also got Dude Bro out here. I do have your stuff. I think you had the candy. There you are. And then who else do we have? Checking the compass. That's, nope, that's that same dude again. Right over this way. We've got to hop that big dirt mound yet again. Got someone just on the other side. Oh, this is Anna. Right. You had this. That's a big order. All right, here we go with Gerard. This is going to be the money laundering dude, bro. As far as I know, Eddie introduced me, so I'll make this short. I have hideouts with my men around the ghetto. If you need your money laundered, pay them a visit. I mark them on your map. You'll find more details at the uh, bank app in Shadycom. Really, the laundering will require investments to get more, quote unquote, flexible in time and grow. We've managed to set up a new hideout. Might be easier for you to deliver cash. Marked it on your map. Okay. Sweet. Let's mark that as red. Wait, can we say anything to him, I wonder? Let's check that out again. Gerard, we cannot. All right. So, how much cash do we have on us? Right meow. 21. Oh my. I completely forgot. Dude, that's just that's just me today just forgetting things over and over again. But we have a bunch of skill points to use. So, let's just go through until we have no more available. There we go, we're left with five and we've got everything leveled up. So we don't have that much money on us. Let's grab a little bit more for our first go at this. Probably 10, 10 Gs? Is that a dumb move? Then we have 15 left over. I'm okay with this. And he said he marked it on our map? Oh, okay. You know what? I feel like I saw this once before, but I didn't expect it to be a money laundering location. Check the map one mo again. It's going to be right down here on the end. Knock on door. 
Hello? Oh, okay. No cops? No cops? Oh! Hello! I need to make this deposit with you, please. It is really raining, you guys. It is really r 10,000 in cash and valuables deposited for laundering. Okay. Do we have to come back? Yeah, I'm heading back to the apartment, dude. I gotta get out of this rain. It is a nasty out right now. We'll just wait around until uh, Gerard, like, messages us again or something. We should also check that bank account thing that he was talking about. Oh! Laundering pool. 10 Gs. Okay, maximum daily revenue, 1,500. Return rate, 40%. So if I put in $5, we would only get two back? That is awful. That is super, super bad. Let's upgrade that. First and first mostly. There we go. Maximum daily revenue, 2,500. Still a return rate of 40% though, you guys. That's just... That's unacceptable. Well, we could just sit around and wait all day until our money launderer gets back to us, but to be honest, we did complete everything that we set out to do. So I think that's where we're going to wind this episode down at for today. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.